What's up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today we're gonna be doing a reaction video to Silk Sonic's album. It finally came out, an evening with Silk Sonic. Um, I'm pretty excited to listen to this with you all. Uh, there's three songs that we already know, Leave the Door Open, uh, Smoking Out the Window, and Skate. So I'm gonna skip those. Um, I did a review on Smoking Out of the Window about maybe a week or two ago, whatever, whenever that was. I'll have that in the link in the description below if you guys wanna check that out. And everybody knows at this point, if you're even watching this, everybody knows uh, Leave the Door Open. So we're just gonna jump right into it, let's do it. All right, so the uh, first song is uh, Silk Sonic Intro. So let's check that out. You gotta love it. You gotta love how they come in. I mean, you you just gotta love it. I mean, it's, it's giving that 70s vibe. Um, let's just continue. The drum pocket is very solid, by the way. And uh, just to let you guys know, I don't know, um, I love Tidal because Tidal really gives like descriptive credits um, and it shows here additional guitar work, uh, Michael uh, Fingold, uh, even the assistant engineer, Bryce Borden, Alex um, Rizzogli. Uh Background vocals and bass is done by d Mal. Uh, d Mal is all over the place in R&B. Um, he works extremely closely to uh, Lucky Day. Um, DMAL85, uh, that's his uh, handle on Instagram. Check him out. He is really dope just as a producer. Like he, oh man, he's really dope. He's really dope. Um, even uh, it shows here on the uh, guitar, Bruno Mars is on here as well on the guitar. Um, keyboards again, DMAL. Demon is very, he's multi-talented. He's on the organ, he's on the piano, he's on the keyboard. Um, but again, it just shows you guys like how descriptive title is when it comes down to the credits. I, I typically go between genius and uh, title, but um, very descriptive, I love it. Monster of the universe. There's Bootsy again. Uh, also, somebody told me, and I know I'm talking a lot, but someone told me in my uh, last reaction video that he was hosting. Before then, I don't think I knew that. So shout out to whoever that was. I'm sorry. I, I should have wrote the name down so I could shout you out, but I appreciate that because um, I really didn't know that at first. So that was news to me. I hope you got something in your cup. And ladies... Don't be afraid to make your mm. way to the stage for a band that I name, Silk Sonic. Leave the door open. So this one called uh, Fly Is Me. And let me say, I mean, I always love Leave the Door Open, but even in sequence, it just sounds so much better um, in sequence of it being a whole project, the intro, then we're going with some familiar, you know, uh, song, which is Leave the Door Open. Then the next one is Fly As, Fly As Me. Let's check this one out. Ooh. <laughs> Anderson Pack is on the drums again with this one. Like, take you downtown where they treat me like the main. Take you to the crib where you pick it up safe. What's up, Sandy? I'ma show you late. Don't even spatula everything, Kate. Extra flavor. Go ahead, sprinkle some truffles on your mashed potatoes. I'm tr
So automatically what I'm liking about this song is that it has a very tight groove and then it's given time for it to actually breathe. So it's don't, 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 don't. Like, and that's that breathing. And then it goes right back into that solid groove. I love songs that give give it a uh, space to breathe so you can enjoy it more. Like you getting in the groove and then the artists come in, kill it. And then, you know, whatever the case happens after that, some like, especially like, with um, Maroon 5, they've their past two or three albums, they've been having a lot of jam sessions where they'll let like the music just play long after they're done singing. But this is about Silk Sonic. Let's get back to it. So this this is exactly what I was expecting like from Anderson like and it was very you know when they first announced that they were going to be like some like a duo group I thought it I mean I knew it could work but I just didn't see Anderson's uh uh, I didn't see his role too much um, because Bruno is so, uh, he has an aggressive vibe to him. I mean, it's so smooth, but when I say aggressive, I just mean compared to Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack has his own vibe, but everybody knows Bruno to be like that 70s vibe type of sound, whereas Anderson Pack is more. More of a current vibe, if that makes sense. I, I hope I'm making sense when I try to explain this. So I just didn't see how they mesh together. Um, but this particular song is something that I know Anderson Pack would have like on on his solo project. You know, like just even the way he's like rapping. Um, this is Anderson Pack for sure. Like this is his vibe. Um, and it's inter interesting enough that uh, D Mount. Wait, hold on. Let me just see. I know Bruno Mars produced this um, actual uh, song. And uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, he produ uh, Bruno Mars produced this. And I believe D. Mal did too. I, for some reason, it's not letting me uh, see it right this second. But um, very interesting. This one is called After Last Night with Thundercat and Boosie Collins. Damn, I don't even know what was last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, I have to say, this, that smoothness of that bass, man, is just amazing. Like, if people that know, if you guys don't know who Thundercat is, check out some of his live work on YouTube. Um, but also check out um, a lot of his, all his albums are extremely dope, um, but he's more like, um, I want to say actually he started off in, um, he got his big break in 30 Seconds to Mars, so, and that's more of a, 
Mm, I don't know what genre that is. I honestly, I, so I can't really. It's it's alien like I'll say that. So like when I'm talking about when when I mean alien like this dude is playing the bass like just ridiculous. Like he even on his own projects he he plays the bass like he just solos like like you never heard before. It's something that I've never heard before out of a bass player specifically. Um, and so the fact that I know who he is to do that, but then come and do this, like that just smoothness, it just shows his range is just all, like his range is just limitless. Just, just the fact that he can do the smooth, you know, like the smooth sound. And then you go into a more alien type of sound. Like it's really dope. Listen to that bass. Was it good for you? Oh, baby. I don't know what you did when you did what you did. But you did it, girl. See, normally I don't stutter, but... Wait, so, okay, so let me, let me go back. Now, let me go back. Now... Although what I just said is true as far as Thundercats range, according to the credits, is actually showing D Mal again on the bass, which is very surprising. So I'm hoping we're gonna actually hear Thundercats voice in a few minutes. You do it, Tommy. Yeah, that's how it goes. I think that part, mm. let's see. So, so far what I'm hearing is like, I'm hearing like a solid bass line and then I'm hearing like, like a baseball effect, like the bump, 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 like like little accents here and there, and I think that may be Thundercat. Even though I'm still not seeing his name credited, and like we only we only have a minute left of the song, and I haven't seen anything that resembles you know uh, his voice. It looks like they're wrapping up at this point, but let's continue. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
that is. I don't know who's playing that guitar. It has to be. It has to be Thundercat because um, I like there is 30 seconds left, guys. I'm thinking that's that's who is playing. You know, he always has this effect that sounds very similar to that. Like he has multiple effects to make it actually sound like a guitar. So um, yeah, that, that probably was him. So smooth though. So this one is called uh, "Put on Put on a Smile." So actually what I'm seeing on this one is Babyface is actually doing some of the background vocals, which is very interesting considering he's not featured on there, but maybe it's not enough for him to be considered featured. But this one, and I'm, let's, let's, let's check it out. This song is called Seven Seven Seven. Bruno on a guitar with this one. beat, nice drum fills. That drum feel. Hey, that is hard. That is hard. This is, man, this is solid. Oh, 
Hey, I may have to do a guitar cover to this one. This one is like really, really solid. They're all doing their thing on the like on the instruments. Fire. This is crazy. This is crazy. So this one's called Blast Off. Ooh. Real smooth. This is too small. See, this is, this sounds so heavenly. guitar with this one. It doesn't show. It doesn't, well, you know what? Let's see. I have to, I have to pause this just so I can see who in the world is on these, uh, on this guitar. It doesn't show. I don't know why, um, you know, maybe, maybe it's, you know, uh, who knows, but I gotta find out. Let's listen and I'll and I'll figure it out. We'll go back a little bit. This is Bruno Mars. I'm blown away, honestly. Oh. Ooh. Hold on, did you guys just hear that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I don't know why I'm fanning out like this. But hold on. Come on. 
That harmony right there? Come on, man. I'm trying not to flip out. I'm trying not to flip out. That was that little, that little harmony right there. I got to play that back one more time, guys. That is insane. <laughs> Goodness. I gotta like oh man, I <laughs> I was about I don't I didn't know what to expect for okay I, 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 let's just keep going, let's keep going. Let's keep going. That was insane, man. It, let me pause one more time. This is what makes songs classics. These these little subtle things that people wait on at, like this is towards the end of the song. People will wait for something like that. Just it's so subtle, but it adds that much more flavor to a, any song. You look at any top 10 song of all time, you're going to find that one piece that everybody is waiting on like like okay, I know it's coming up. I know it's coming up. I know the change is coming up. And that right there helps make some of the best music we've ever heard in our lifetime, honestly. This is crazy. Oh man, see, look, so, and that's the thing, that's the beauty of uh, just having a team, just having a team to work with, um, letting songs breathe. Me being a guitarist, sometimes it's, it's hard for me to hear that much space. I mean, because now, granted, they took us up to a peak. Now they're taking us back down, you know, and leveling it out until we are finished with, uh, you know, finished with the song. But as a guitarist in my head, I try to listen for, okay, like where, where could I, you know, put this, these progression, uh, progressions or, or this solo or whatever, like in that space right here, now that we're like, kind of like down again, I automatically start thinking like, you could, I could solo it out and it just, and it rises back up and it fades out. But that's the beauty of working with multiple people because that, this is strategic. They're leaving all this space just so you can kind of mellow back out, vibe out. Like that, this is like the release. Like you get, you get up to that peak and then there's the release. This is the release right here. So let's, let's, let's listen to that. That's all, that's the release. Come on, just when I think you can't get any better. Oh my goodness. This is, this is... I don't have any words, this is crazy. This is nothing short of crazy. Is there anything, is there anything that you can... just listen to that last song what do we just listen to here like <laughs> I, I 
I have I don't have too many words for this. This this I'm 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 speechless. I'm not even gonna hold you guys up. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, we might as well just cut to the next. <sighs> okay, so I was able to calm down, but goodness, I mean, this whole project was really, really good. I loved every song, especially um, the singles within sequence. Sequence is very important. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Skate until I heard it in sequence. Of course, I didn't, you know, uh, uh, I chose to not have that in this uh, particular video just because um, Leave the Door Open and Skate are already two popular songs. Um, and Smoking Out the Window, I already did a reaction for that. Um, but the ones that stand out for me are 777 and and blast off that blast off is just man that it still has to be speechless like i really i just never heard anything like that before i just haven't heard anything like that before they it was one of those things like i i was saying before like okay like this is where they let us like breathe and, 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 and it was, but then it started taking us somewhere else. Like then it started to head off to the moon and to the, like into outer space. Like, and that's what Bootsy said. Like it was literally like that. I just, I don't know any song. If you guys know any song that's comparable to something like this, drop it in the comments because I need to hear it. This right here with, that song was one of the craziest songs I've heard all year by far. And it could go head to head with probably one of the best songs that I've heard in the last five years. And 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 granted I'm I'm saying that loosely, but if you guys drop it in the comments, what what is your favorite song in the last five years? Like your top three to five. Let's just do top five. Drop it in the comments. You guys let me know, and and I'll and I'll see. I'll let you guys know in the comments. Hey, it's not better. It's good, but it's not better than Blast Off, or or it may be. But just let me know. I'm very very curious to know. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. More videos coming soon. I'm gonna be doing a guitar cover to probably seven seven seven. But if you guys want a guitar um, lesson and tutorial for 777 or any other um, uh, song on this album, drop it in the comments as well. Um, this is the only channel you're going to get the reaction videos from a guitarist that will give you the lessons um, and really literally teach you how to... Um, play the song with your friends or maybe even live on stage as well as me um give you my take on it as well um i also you guys know i do unboxings of technology i do um i do it all guys this is the only channel you're gonna get all in one so you might as well go ahead and subscribe i appreciate you all and until next time peace this was crazy <laughs> this was crazy